All right, so we're doing Sweet Home Alabama. We gotta learn three chords. We need a D chord, C add nine, and a G. Okay, do your D chord. You're gonna put your first finger on the second fret of the G string, which is right there. Middle finger goes on the second fret of the high E, the skinny E string, and your third finger goes on the third fret of the B string. So if you look at it, it kind of makes like a sideways triangle, like a triangle pointing this way. Like here's the top of the triangle, here's the base of the triangle, right? All right, when you play this chord, you're only playing the skinny four strings. And the hardest part about this chord is getting your fingers to be real round. So, if, let's see, I don't know if you can see. See how, how round my fingers are? They're not like this. They're like nice and tall. Okay, so when you do that, you're gonna play that chord twice. Also, when you play a chord, you can play every string in the chord to see if you're getting the each note to sound out. If it's not, you might have to press harder or like for example this one it's actually this finger is touching the string by accident so you might have to adjust your finger all right so there's a D then a C add nine you're gonna put your first finger on the second fret of D middle finger on the third fret of A your third finger on the third fret of B and your pinky on the third fret of high E you're not gonna play the fat string that's what it sounds like this string is just open, so be sure, like I said, your fingers are rolled like, call it bear claw, nice and round. Okay, and then once you have a C add nine, a G is really easy. You're gonna take these two fingers where they are and you're gonna move them up one string. And there's a G. So the whole song goes like this, D twice, then you're gonna play a C add nine twice, then a G twice, and then a G twice more. So in real time with the words. Big wheels keep on turning. They give me the same I can. So you want to work up to the point where you can make a chord and then switch to the next chord without stopping. It takes lots of practice. Good luck.